In less than 5 minutes, you'll be able to play Free Fire on your low-end PC, even with just 2 gigabytes of RAM and no graphics card. And the gameplay you're watching right now is running on the same Android OS that literally no one has made a video on until today. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. First, you need to visit my website, which you can easily access from the link given here. Once you're on the site, you'll find a post at the top. But if you're watching this video after some time, just search for that post by its name. After opening it, simply scroll down and you'll find the download links for all the files right there. I've already downloaded all the files and organized them for you. First, download the tool's zip file from the link, then extract it. You'll see a folder with an installer inside. Run the setup file and follow the on-screen steps to install the program. After the software is installed, you have to return to the same folder that you extracted earlier. There, you'll find a crack folder. From that folder, you need to copy the crack files. Remember, if your PC is 64-bit, copy the 64-bit files. Otherwise, copy the 32-bit ones. Then open the copied files and paste them into the main directory of Disk Genius and replace the existing files. After that, open Disk Genius and select a new partition. Make sure the partition you select is completely empty and that your system drive has at least 20 gigabytes of free space available. Once that's done, right-click on the new partition and choose the format option. A pop-up window will appear. In that, select EXT4 as the partition system and then click on the format button to complete the process. Once your partition has been formatted, extract the ISO file. Since file size is quite large, so extraction process will take some time. Once the extraction is complete, copy all the files that appear and paste them into drive that you have formatted earlier. As soon as you start pasting, the process will begin and it usually takes around 5 to 10 minutes to finish. Once it's done, move on to the next step, where we'll install Grub. For that, you'll find a setup file. Simply launch it. And remember, you'll need an active internet connection for this step to work properly. And whatever steps I'm doing, you have to do those exact same steps. Once it opens, you'll see an interface that looks something like this. Now, here's what you need to do. Go to the Manage Boot Menu option and click on Add New Entry. After that, from the drop-down menu, select Sub-Menu and in the title section, type Android OS. Next, open the Grub code file you downloaded earlier, copy all the text from it, and paste it right here. Once you've done that, click Save, then hit Apply. And that's it! At this point, our work is almost done. Now I'll simply restart my PC and record the remaining process using a hand cam. After the restart, you'll see a boot menu appear. From there, you can also launch your Windows. But for now, I'll select the OS entry we just created. There's one thing you need to keep in mind. When you launch it for the very first time, make sure to select this specific kernel. After the first boot, you can choose any other kernel from the list in future boots. So, the OS has now started launching, and once the process completes, you'll see a screen like this. Before I give you an overview of it, let's test Free Fire directly on this OS so your time isn't wasted at all. To install it, you can either use the Play Store or, the better option, download the APK file on your PC and install it manually, just like I'm doing here. Now open Panda Keymapper and simply select Free Fire and launch it. After that, your key mapping will be automatically enabled, which you can adjust if you want. Now, before starting the game, let me show you a few important settings that you must apply. First, sign in using your Google or Facebook account. For now, I'll continue as a guest. Once you reach the lobby, turn off all the background downloads to keep the performance smooth. Then, go to the main settings and set all the graphics options to low, so you'll experience the minimum possible lag. All right, now that we've applied all the settings, it's time to start the match. So guys, the match has started, and you can see just how smooth it's running. I'm not experiencing any lag at all. Even the key mapping is working perfectly. There are a few points where the game lags a little, but overall, this OS is really good, and you should definitely try it. However, if your PC is very low-end, like with only 1GB of RAM, you can check out my other tutorial where I ran PUBG on it. Just click on that video, and I'll see you there. Bye!